let's try this again dang this is like the fifth time that i've tried to record this video but okay so i'm back with another video my inspiration has kicked off um i'm this video is going to be about living with a leo moon living with a leo moon and the reason why i decided to make this video recently is mainly because my Leo moon has been shining through like it's been illuminated to me like of course my Leo moon has always been there but now recently I'm starting to become more aware of it like I'm like oh Michaela that's a Leo moon move dang like I've just been very conscious of it recently so I'm just like why don't I make a video for other Leo moons personally oh hold on first of all I'm a, Le I'm a Libra sun Leo moon Scorpio rising <laughs> by the way um I'm actually a Virgo Libra cusp, but don't ever say that to certain astrologers because they will attack you. They will. I learned. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, so Libra Sun, Scorpio Rising, Leo Moon, we out you. Um, my Leo Moon is actually in the ninth house, but I'm going to make a separate video for that. This video is just kind of going to be about like the Leo Moon. Okay. <laughs> so we are very similar i feel like in our feelings because the moon is your feelings it's your soul it's who you are behind closed doors it's who you are when no one's watching it's who you are when you get upset it's who you are when you're happy and like it's who you are when you're drunk and i believe that wholeheartedly you become your moon sign <laughs> but yeah so we when it comes to Leo moons, we have so much Leo energy. We're very loud and proud. Like, we like to express ourselves. And when we do, it's very loud and proud. And it's very confident, just like a Leo. We have this childlike energy to us. It's kind of like, we can be so goofy and just so like, ah, 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 or whatever, you know? I don't know. You'd have to be, a, you'd have to either be around a Leo moon or be a Leo moon to be able to understand but okay so some may call us dramatic they also might call us perhaps maybe I really wrote perhaps maybe um theatric and just overly emotional a lot of people do call us that for me that has a lot to do with my ninth house um but Leo moons in general yes I would say we are dramatic we are. And I'm sorry if you are a Leo moon and you don't think you're dramatic, but I, I'm a Leo moon and I'm dramatic and I don't care. Honestly, I really don't. Like, I'm not dramatic to a point where it gets out of hand. Like, if I do that, I'm more conscious of it now. I'm sure I've done it before in the past, but now, like, I'm like, Michaela, you acting very Leo moon right now. You need to dial it down. <laughs> But yeah, so a lot of people may call us dramatic. It was funny because I was playing a card game with a friend and I forgot what game it was. It, I don't know. It was like, give it to give this card to somebody in the group who um, overreacts. I got the card. <laughs> I knew I was going to get the card. Like I knew it. And everybody agreed. They're like, yeah, you be. And I'm just like, I don't be though. Like I don't be. I'm just a Leo Moon or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, so like literally the more I learn and grow and ascend or whatever you want to call it, the, the more I learn about myself, the more I just realize like, girl, your moon is in Leo. Like it is <laughs> like my emotional presence is just very known. And also it might be my ninth house energy, but like for real, my emotional presence is known. I definitely feel like when I open up to people, they are definitely like, oh, wow, she has some very strong emotions, like very strong. And um, I also have Scorpio rising, like I said. So y if you were to meet me, you probably wouldn't meet that side of me for a minute because you know Scorpio rising we kind of we're just very mysterious we don't we don't really and Scorpios in general like very mysterious don't really be um spitting it out like that when it comes to um our emotions and stuff like just not really 
Um, and that also, me being a Scorpio rising, I feel like it saves me from being overly dramatic. I'm really not even going to lie. Like, it really does. It makes it so that I can mask my emotions. <sighs> Quite the talent, man. But, yeah. So, ooh. Yeah, anyways, having a Leo moon makes me very emotionally powerful. And now I'm finally unlocking that within myself. And it's really cool, honestly. It's it's painful sometimes, to be honest, because my emotions, they just... I have a hard time finding emotional balance sometimes. I'm not even going to lie. Like, sometimes I am very emotionally distressed, like... A lot and a lot of people don't know this and that's word to my Scorpio rising I don't really be telling people everything I'm really not gonna lie but obviously that's not their fault that's just the way I am um, but once you do like get to know me like you will definitely see how powerful my emotions are and how strongly when I feel something how strongly I feel it word to leo moon <laughs> um another thing that people do say about leo moons is that we love attention and i can definitely see that in an aspect i won't say that like i'm a what's an example i'm gonna you know do something drastic to get attention no this is how i see it personally um one instance that could make people probably think that we love attention is when we get upset because when we when leo moons get upset we will either tell you or you will just know because like you will just you will really just know like i don't know and it, also like it, it depends on the other placements of course because like i said scorpio rising you probably might not know but you might still know it just varies <laughs> sometimes I don't even know <laughs> but um yeah things that will get a Leo moon to that point where like people will say oh you're being dramatic or like it's not a big deal it's not that much of a big deal um is one when people are accusing us of something we did not do and this is like I said I'm speaking from experience this is what I've experienced that really gets me sad like sad mad I get sad mad because I be getting in my feelings and then I be I, I get mad and then I get in my feelings about it so I be sad mad but um yeah accusing us of something that we didn't do don't do that don't do that mm -mm. I don't like that I really really don't because to me that's you seeing me as somebody that is not me like, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you could explain, if you could understand that, like, I just don't like it. And then, so, also telling us how we are, especially if it's wrong, that goes back to, you know, a lot of people like to tell you about yourself. And it's just like, you don't know me. You're not me. That's not what I do. Okay? Like, especially if it's wrong. Sometimes people can tell you about yourself and it be right and you just have to accept it and you need to learn and grow from it, sis. But, like... Some people really like to tell you about yourself and they don't know a thing about you. And I don't, that's one thing, like, that's definition of character. Like, I actually don't know if that's the same thing. But, like, that just gets me very upset. I don't like that. And if someone does that, like, and I get upset, they probably would think that I'm being dramatic because, like, they think, oh, that, like, that's not even that big a deal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, like, that's upsetting. Please don't do it. Um, And then not respecting us as a human being like to me like that will get me really upset like if you don't just respect somebody like just have like just respect me you know or just respect even like even if I see someone being disrespected I'm just like just respect them like that doesn't make sense like respecting boundaries or respecting morals or whatever you know so those are like some things that could get like a Leo moon kind of like disheveled or at least in my experience in my experience so people definitely would like think that I'm overreacting to certain situations especially some of those I could see how people could think that I'm overthinking it or I just 
you know, I'm taking things too seriously or, you know, to heart or whatever. I could see that. I could definitely see that. And I take full accountability. But you can't help what makes you like, you got to honor yourself. If it bothers you, like speak up, hunty. That's also how I feel too. And like, I'm just now, like I said, my Scorpio rising and my Leo moon, they battle. I feel like they battle when it comes to that speaking up. Also, I'm a Libra. So damn, like, <laughs> I just can't win over here. Like, it's really, it's hard for me to be able to speak up, but I know in my heart and I feel like that's my Leo moon speaking like, girl, you need to, um, what's it called? You need to honor yourself and speak up when something's bothering you. Hey, huh? Um, anyway, so another reason why people could say that we're dramatic is when we're happy, we are just happy and we express ourselves in that childlike, you know, fun way. And it may attract people. It may get people, you know, it may get people being like, oh my gosh, she's fun. It could also get people being like, oh, she's too much. She's doing the most. Like, oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it could also be like that. So that's kind of how Leo Moon, the, like, that's how people can definitely see, uh, oh, can definitely see, um, damn, I lost what I was saying. Anyways, um, people will definitely say that we're dramatic because of that and the way that we express ourselves or whatever um, when we're happy. So this is one thing that I did write down and because I feel this. I really do. And I wonder, I want to know if other Leo Moons feel this or all of this video. Please let me know if you feel any of this. I hope I was making sense. Mm, my Mercury in the 12th house. It'd be making me not make sense sometimes. It makes sense to me, but it don't make sense to other people. So I really hope that other people can... <sighs> my phone gonna die. I really hope that other people can relate to this. So um, now with a Leo moon, we love to love on people and we want to be loved and appreciated back because we, if we love and appreciate you, and we don't we don't get that like back it stings like it really gets us upset it gets us it just gets us sad honestly in my opinion like for me <laughs> it gets me sad like i don't want to be in any type of connection that i mean anybody really i'm sure nobody wants to be in any type of connection where you know they love and appreciate somebody and they're not loved and appreciated back but leo moons like we don't like that like we really don't like that's how i feel like we we hold you high we respect you we love you we show you love all the time like we just want it back it's just nice if we get it back like that's all like you know i don't know <laughs> so yeah we definitely feel kind of slighted in a way when we don't get that reciprocated to us so that's all i wrote down in my little book um leo moons we are just out here vibing the sun is in leo if your moon is in leo maybe your leo moon showing through maybe i don't know i feel like that's kind of why my leo moon has been showing through and also my um midheaven is in leo too so and a lot of stuff with like work has been going on and like running through my mind as well. So who knows, honestly, I feel like everything's connected cause that's just the way I live. But Leo Moons, we are just the baddest bitches on the block. I'm just kidding. I don't go, I don't be, I don't be like that. I don't be like one sign's better than the other, but I do want Leo Moons to know you are not always dramatic. Definitely use your Leo energy, like not for bad though, because I think that Leo Moons can be like, controlling and like they can get to a point where they're just very mean like they want to be the center of attention they want to be like everything's about them and they get dramatically mad dramatically upset making scenes and stuff like we don't need to do that leo moons we don't need to do that let's balance our leo moon energy let's wear it high and proud with a crown on our heads like a leo should okay um anyways thank you for watching my video i hope it made sense to some of y'all but and i hope it resonated with some people because i've always been wanting to make a video like this and i'm definitely gonna make leo in the ninth house just in case anybody has leo in the ninth house because we be struggling out here um <clears throat> 
I'm definitely gonna start probably making more videos about my placements and stuff because as much as I love making like life lesson videos, I also love making astrology videos. Like I had a whole astrology podcast. I'd be forgetting. Written in the stars, guys. Even though it's been a couple months, it's still out there. So Written in the Stars, it's on Spotify, it's on um, podcast, Apple Music, whatever that podcast, Apple Podcasts, you know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you watched it, I love you. Eh. Anyways, keep it cool. I don't even stick it now. Bye. <laughs>